happy monday happy start of the week to start this monday off we i will be reading ungifted and if you don't remember i'll give you a little refresher about the last chapter so donovan he found out that hardcastle middle school's gym is still destroyed so hardcastle middle school is moving their school dance to the academy which means that all of the academy kiddos can go to this dance they were super excited well most of them donovan is a little nervous you could tell he didn't want to go but all of his academy friends and teachers are making him go so we'll see what happens at the dance i'm a little nervous for him but we are back with unpasteurized, unpasteurized, sorry, and it is Donovan Curtis. So we get to see his point of view. So he's going to be telling us a little bit about what's going on. Johnny, I was getting ready for school when the blood curdling scream brought me running out of the bathroom. Donnie, get in here this minute. I leaped over Beatrice, who was sprawled across my doorway, and ran into Katie's room, preparing to dial 911. But she was alive and well, sitting at her laptop computer, reading her overnight emails from Afghanistan. From First Lieutenant H. Bradley Patterson, United States Marine Corps. Katie, Captain Hunsinger says he saw your stomach on YouTube. What gives, Brad? I reddened. It was probably Noah. YouTube is his whole life. I'm entitled to a life too, you know, she stormed at me. That didn't change because you're bla you blackmailed me into signing on with your freaky brain trust and found that video. It's basically a two minute close up of my fat belly while We Are the Champions plays in the background. It's a compliment. He's got nothing better to do with his 200 IQ. Cut it out, Donnie. You're not talking to your misfits here. They're not misfits, I insisted. They're just different. Super smart, but dumb in a way too, like babies. It was the wrong word. It reminded her. My husband is 11,000 mile, miles away in a dangerous war zone. He shouldn't be hearing about his wife's pregnancy on YouTube and his captain shouldn't be hearing about it at all. I'll get Noah to take the video down, I promise. He didn't mean anything though. You don't understand about him. She looked curious. What happened to you, Donnie? You're giving your best friends the cold shoulder but defending these crazies? I'm not, I protested, but she had a point. I had been avoiding the Daniels, who were being totally unreasonable about sharing our Valentine dance with the dweeb army. Sanderson's words, not mine. Poor you, I told him at the time. If you're so offended by smart people, don't go. DJ's going to be there, man, he shot back. And Heather, she's into you. At that point, Nussbaum had punched him in the gut. Heather's into me. Nobody's going, no one's going to be into anyone anymore when the academy dorks suck all the coolness out of the air, Sanderson had complained. That conversation really bugged me. I mean, nobody knew better than me that the gifted kids weren't exactly uber happening, but this was a school dance not some A-list Hollywood red carpet event. Like, there weren't any cool pe uncool people at Hardcastle. I faced Katie. They're not crazy. Well, most of them. Don't knock them. These days, you're, they're your biggest fans. She cast a sour look at Beatrice. They're not exactly facing stiff competition in that department. Show some respect for the almost dead. That's not funny, she snarled through gritted teeth. Did it ever occur to you that my marriage could be on the line over that dog? No, because it's all the same to you as long as your weird classmates get to paw the incredible expanding stomach. I sighed. If they're smart enough to predict supernovas on the opposite side of the galaxy, credit them with the brains to appreciate how you come, came to their rescue. Her eyes narrowed. There's something fishy about this whole gifted thing. It doesn't add up. I'm not saying you're stupid but you're hardly the type to sniff around for extra work. I didn't sniff around. The Academy found me, remember? I do remember. That's the fishy part. Anyway, we should get going. 
My appointment with Dr. Manalo is in nine is at 9:30. I was attending Katie's next doctor appointment doctor checkup. Not as her brother, but as a member of Human Growth and Development 101. Dr. Osborne had gotten permission for a field trip, so our whole class was going. I hope Dr. Manalo had invested, invested in a spacious office. Driving with Katie was an adventure these days. Her stomach was so huge that she had to, had to set the seat all the way back, and her arms were barely long enough to reach the wheel. And she hunched forward, looking like Jeff Gordon wedged behind a giant beach ball. We were just waddling, wait, waddling in, in the, from the parking, waddling, sorry. We were just waddling in from the parking lot when the minibus, dro- minibus arrived. You could tell they didn't get a lot of school buses at the clinic. In this doctor's office, the only kids involved were the ones being born, and not too many pregnant women arrived with an entourage of brainiacs. The doctor was running late, so we had to wait 40 minutes, which wasn't exactly pleasant. Noah speed read the, through two years worth of mother-to-be magazines, peppering Katie with questions like, have you eaten any unpasteurized cheeses lately? No, she grumbled, have you? What's your opinion of giving the baby solid food before four months? You're bringing back my morning sickness, she warned. Really? According to the June 2011 issue that happens in the first trimester, she glared at him. It came back when they saw my stomach on YouTube in Afghanistan. Eyes quickly stopped between them. Let's give Katie some space, Noah. This is her doctor's appointment, after all. We're just privileged to be here. When we finally got called, the nurse said, I'm sorry, only immediate family in the examining room? They are family, Katie informed her with a sigh. You know how you can't pick your relatives? The woman was adamant. I'm afraid it's a privacy issue. I have no privacy, Katie replied wearily. My stomach is on YouTube. Oz was ready to back everybody off, but Dr. Manala was kind of psyched to have an audience. He used, to be, he used to work at a teaching hospital, he explained. He missed having students around. We kept our distance for the exam, of course, but we watched the sonogram, and we were all invited to put, to put the stethoscope and listen to the baby's heart. Heartbeat. Sorry. Oops. Just lost my page. Sounds kind of freaky, commented Lateral. You know, listening to another person who's trapped in there. Katie made a face. I can't tell you how thrilled I am that my family planning is contributing to your ho- to your horror movie fantasy. It's a miracle, Chloe breathed. Even Abigail's serious expression softened when she had the tel- stethoscope on. Oz assumed a far off dreamy expression. I remember these appointments from that from when my wife and I were expecting our own kids. There's nothing quite like it. The doctor kept Katie a few minutes extra. When she stepped out into the waiting room, the students of Human Growth and Development 101 leaped to their feet and gave her a rousing standing ovation. Their enthusiasm was so infectious that everybody in the reception room joined in, all the other expecting moms and dads and family members. Katie was so taken back that she actually did a little curtsy, blushing deep. I didn't do anything, she insisted, but the smile on her face was 100%. Genuine. Katie headed home alone, and I got on the minibus with everybody else for the ride to the academy. How was the field trip? asked the driver. Fun? Chloe nodded enthusiastically. We were at a pelvic exam, and we listened to a fetus, added Noah. The driver seemed bewildered. We're gifted, I explained. And that is the end of this chapter. So I really like how Donovan ended with we're gifted. He didn't say they're gifted. He said we're gifted. So I want you to think about, because this whole book, he kept saying, oh, they're gifted. They're gifted. My friends are gifted. And he never referenced himself as gifted. So I want you to think about why Donovan used the words we are gifted instead of they're gifted. So comment your thoughts below and I can't wait to read the next chapter and see what happens at the dance. Have a great Monday.